Hello and welcome back to the series in which Bones' mental and physical health deteriorates over a hundred days. Yay. Um, I have a migraine that's really bad and that's why this one's late today. Though at this point, like, they're all so late. So is it late? Um, I don't have a script because looking at computers makes me want to throw up right now. So we're going just off the cuff and we're going to talk about making money from comics the the elusive moolah of making comics so there's a few ways you can make money on comics um i mentioned pay gated comics and i think that's kind of what i'm talking about here but a lot of the stuff applies to what's it uh they apply it applies to web comics too so basically with comics, there's like a few avenues for making money. There's like selling your books, there's Patreon, and then there's like selling your books in a larger way, I guess, to like a publisher. Each of these is cool and um, <laughs> they work in different ways and they're really hard and honestly, there's not tons of money to make in comics usually, but it's still there. So some of the ways in which you would do it is um, through selling books. That's like the major way. Um, I think most people think about making money through selling books. And you can do this whether you have a webcomic or not because people who like to read things in print tend to be very different than people who like to read things on the web anyways. Like, it's harder to keep up with things on webcomics, and sometimes it's nice to just buy a collection of books. So, selling a, selling a, <laughs> selling books is a really good way to do this. I find Kickstarters really helpful and effective. There's also print-on-demand sites like Lulu. Um, I guess CreateSpace doesn't exist anymore. I hate the quality of their books anyways, honestly. Um, hot take. But there, there is print on demand. It tends to be more expensive in the long run to do that, but it's also easier. So depending on what you want to do, that's open to you. Unless you're doing color, in which case it's really not. Like there's no really good high quality color for the same price range as uh, just going to a printer. Yeah, so just... Printing a comic is a really good idea, um, and if you're not printing it, doing ebooks is also a great idea. A lot of what selling your comic will come down to is pitching, and I'm going to do a whole other video on that when I'm feeling better, maybe, unless I don't feel better by the end of this, in which case, well, heck. For selling ebooks, for selling print books, it's kind of the same thing, where you're just pitching it and you want to make sure you advertise it really well and sometimes you're not going to make sales sometimes you are going to make sales i find kickstarters and things are just really good things marketing wise because it gets people really hype about a release of a book that's typically why i tend to do it i i've had like successful kickstarters in the past i've had like one unsuccessful one now which is fine because i i i, I made mistakes here and i'm gonna fix them out and maybe I should talk about that at another time I don't know but yeah like printing books is how you make money I'm so sorry I don't know where this is going another way that people tend to make money in comics is patreon and I get a lot of questions about how do you run a successful comic patreon and like the typical thing that people do is they release pages early on their patreon and honestly, I'm not the best person to ask about running a successful Patreon because, yes, I have a Patreon link down below, but it's more associated with my YouTube channel. And I think running a YouTube Patreon is a lot easier. It's like totally way easier because people are interested in streaming and they're interested in like my critique streams. But I don't know if people tend to be interested in getting um, books and ebooks early. Um, or just like small pages early. I don't know. Yeah, I tried it, tried it for a really long time and I'd be interested in other people's opinions on how to run a comic kicks, not a comic kicks, sorry, a comic Patreon. I know some people who do it and yeah, a lot of people struggle with it. 
It is an avenue, though, because even when I was doing Magpie originally and I had like a, a Patreon set up where I would just put out a uh, issue once a month, um, I still was getting like 50 bucks a month, which is pretty good, you know, a little extra cash in the bank that I wasn't getting otherwise. I wouldn't put too much pressure on yourself when you're doing a Patreon for your comic. I find a lot of people burn out on their Patreon exclusive stuff because you're trying to hit a buffer and now that buffer has like and, and now reaching your buffer actually means like fulfilling an order like people are paying to see your buffer so I, I try not to put too much on your plate with your Patreon try not to like over promise um, I think that's a big mistake you can do you just got to find something that you're going to be doing anyways and promise that and not promise more than you can achieve that or instead of doing monthly you can do it per issue like per collection that's also a possibility if you're someone who would be stressing about getting work done and whatnot but patreon is an avenue to do it i don't know if there's any other funding ones i think drip went under but yeah it's definitely a lot harder than running a kickstarter i personally find but yeah, it is an option. Um, and your final option for making money is selling books, but like selling them to publishers. And in these cases, you're going to get like an advance or like a pay rate. In these cases, when it comes down to selling to a publisher, you're not selling a completed graphic novel. I think that's something you should be aware of. You don't have to get something 100% done. You're creating a pitch package for a publisher and then they give you an advance and when you get that ad advance um you then g go ahead and you make the book under uh, under like your editor and whatnot and then that book comes together you get your graphic novel at the end and then you sell it and your advance is advanced pay based on your royalties so like um i hope i'm getting this right but like once your royalties reach your advance, then you start earning royalties after that for each book sold. And yeah, that's how that works. And if you don't pay, if you don't, if your royalties never uh, reach that of your advance, you don't have to give the money back. It's still your money. You get to keep it. It's 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 not a it's not a bad deal. Uh, the thing with that is you're going to make a lot less money off of your book per book book but you might end up selling a lot more books through doing that so that's something to consider um I, again i'm going to be talking about pitches tomorrow not tomorrow the next day when i'm not dead in the head so i hope this was a good overview it's probably a terrible overview i'm really sorry my head hurts really bad <laughs> but you can make money i believe in you guys it's it's selling your first book is pretty amazing um, getting your first patron is pretty amazing. Trying to get past like certain milestones can be really rough, but you just got to keep at it. And over time, it'll start working out for you. And if you feel like you're hitting your head against the wall and nothing is changing, it's, it might be time to change up your campaign, change up like how you're approaching things. Like always be creative in your approaches to like marketing and gaining money okay just be creative in those respects just like you would be creative in anything else and if you struggle with marketing and selling maybe then consider the publishing routes like from everyone i hear in publishing graphic novels are really hot right now so if you got one you should start start making those pitch packages and sending them out so there's there's an idea for you Anyways, thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys on the next day that I'm alive. I hope there's another day that I am alive. Goodbye.